Howdy folks, welcome to episode 21. In episode 20 and a half between last episode and this episode, I went and moved everything into the capital vessel and out of the base and I also cleaned up the interior, basically put in like all the other components that we needed like the fridges and all that stuff and the food processor and everything, ventilator, got everything ready to go. And so yeah, that's actually ventilated and stuff. And I also painted it up to make it look more appropriate for the theme that we're going for. So are you ready to see how awesome this ship is? Are you ready? Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> what? It's not? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, there's... My name is... <laughs> The worst ship ever, Mark II, and it's the Mark II because, well, there actually was a first one <laughs> in Season 2, for those of you who, the two or three of you who watched Season 2, <laughs> if you're still watching. Um, <laughs> and anyway, yeah, so if, if any of you watched Season 2, even if you didn't watch Season 2, what we did was Hurley and I built a brick like this kind of similar and went around because when they did the update they did the update and they added on and yeah I know my generator usage is ridiculous but it doesn't actually like if you look down here the power usage but yeah it doesn't actually do anything so as long as you have a generator it doesn't care how much you use but anyway um <laughs> yeah so when they came out with the new planets because when in pre-alpha a long time ago I think it was a couple of years ago they had where's my oxygen and water generator oh they're over here this way okay i have a oxygen and water generator i want to grab those before yeah before we go i do want to grab stuff out of there so we're gonna practice park this thing and see how well it works but yeah anyway what they did was it used to be that all of the planets that existed in the game i think it was four of them it was like Ningas and Istis and Omicron. And here we go. So we can grab those. And we can grab, let me grab that. Here we go. Alright. But yeah, it was it was the lava planet and stuff. And <laughs> so anyway, we were ready to head out. But yeah, they had the four or five planets that were in the game were all in one sector, kind of like flying to the moon. So there wasn't a warp drive. So when they introduced the warp drive, they added a few new planets like Zehines and Aetis and the Masperon and that stuff. And so what we did was we built a cube just just to get be able to get to warp. You know, our whole purpose was just to go warp and go check out all the planets as quickly as possible because it had just came out. And so we did that and we called it because it was ugly like this and every block was a different color and they didn't have textures back then but yeah every block was a different color and so we called it the worst ship ever and so I thought I would do a tribute to that <laughs> to the worst ship ever and call it the worst ship ever part two okay let's see turn our jetpack on <laughs> how big is this thing yeah it fits there <laughs> oh wow that thing is a giant inner tube from hell. <laughs> All right. It's bigger okay. than the ships. Now we can go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome. It's the worst. Okay. <laughs> I love it. All right. <laughs> cool. But we're gonna go over to Zehines, and if I can find it here, let's see where we are warping to. Too many arrows here. Okay, let me see. There it is. All right. But yeah, we're going to we're going to go over to there and there we go. Cool. And we're going to see what we've got here. And let's see. I still need to get a space drone, don't I? And so then we're going to go to Yeah, okay. So it looks like I thought it was going to look and I think Akua is like directly opposite but there's an alien outpost there and Ningas is where we want to go and I think there might even be a giant prom not Prometheum but the Pentaxa deposit on there but it's like let me see let me make sure that's actually locked yes okay that is locked 
but yeah, there's a huge there's a huge deposit in I think it's the alien outpost, but it's actually guarded by a big base that's within shooting range. And so basically you have to take out all of the base turrets and like pretty much have to take out their core because the the thing launches space drones and so the space drones actually, you know, keep um, the space drones keep doing their thing and coming at you and stuff. But um, anyway, we are at Ninga's and I think I am out of, yeah, I am out of at least far enough out of fuel and I need to turn my turrets on too just in case a space drone does arrive. But yeah, we need to um, go pick Pentaxid and so I think we're going to do that on the, let's see what else is here. Hey, there's Akua. So yeah, Akua is 15. So we need to at least get that far. We need at least, what, three crystals in order to get to the next one. But I, if this one is plentiful, we're going to stop and just pick a bunch. But um, yeah, anyway, that's the, <laughs> that's the plan is we're going to do that. But yeah, the, the alien outpost is a little bit more advanced. And that's going to be something I do when I actually want to go around adventuring and get a whole bunch of Pentaxid. But like I said, that's a kind of a long drawn out mission to do that. And I don't, I have like very minimalist equipment. I don't want to do all my stuff in the minimalist ship here. I want to like get a base established and build a nice ship and nice equipment, not this ugly stuff. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And okay, that was weird. That was really weird. Let me see. Turn on my jetpack. Is that okay? There we go. All right, my jetpack is on. <laughs> Much better. And I do have. I did check. Yes, I do have an EVA boost. Okay, let me do this too before I forget. Let's go into here. Now I did name my stuff. See so personal effects, weapons, and armor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, we're gonna put the oxygen in here, and I'm gonna put the water in the constructor. Let's do that. Put the water in the advanced constructor and whoops that's not what I wanted to do I wanted to put the water in there and I want to put some of the fuel I'm gonna keep like 10 there we go and then I'm gonna put the rest of it in the personal effects as well so that and the other thing I want to do here real quick is I want to set this as home spawn so that yeah if we get killed we can spawn back in this thing so anyway yeah we do have all the stuff we have <laughs> we have the armor locker, all the fridges, the two-story outhouse, <laughs> and we have, there we go, oxygen, and medic station there, and I do have a, let's see, I have a BA blocks, the CVBA blocks, I do have a, one of these, in case I need it, like if I get bit or something, and I don't have any antidotes on me, I can actually use that to create a, the, to place the the type of thingy that I need that's the technical term right but anyway yeah we're gonna go check out Ninges. let me see what we whoops see what we have for fuel and stuff and ammo I have 750 okay that should be enough ammo I don't <laughs> I don't plan on going around trying to kill everything that moves I just want to defend myself if I do get attacked but I'm basically just gonna pick crystals and run away from stuff this pretty much the plan here. So let's see if we can find some mountains. And I think these are the mountains and I do pretty much want to stay during a day. Now the nice thing about the the nice thing about the EVA, yeah, they have a bunch of stuff here. The nice thing about the EVA also is that it reduces your bottom temperature range. That looks like crystals right over there. Let's see. But yeah, it reduces your temperature, or it increases your temperature range, I suppose. But yeah, it lowers your your minimum temperature that you need in order to... Oh, that's awesome. That's perfect. Okay. So yeah, we should be able to just do this and pick these. But yeah, it lowers your, your temperature range to negative whatever it is. Negative ridiculous. Oh, you know what? I can't reach my cockpit from underneath. But anyway, I am going to, this is going to be boring, so 
But I just wanted to show you that with the EVA, we can go down to 219, so it doesn't matter that Niggas is super cold now. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and collect a bunch of these crystals, and I'll probably make it into a montage, and I will be back in just a minute. Pent X id crystals. You let my ship go to warp. I must call ec you. Sandworms everywhere. Ati Uggs attacking me. Spiders are the worst. Silly Xerox guy. Your friend is getting shot up. But you just stand there. Turrets follow you. Take out the spawners and core. Find all the barrels. That was pretty weird. It was almost poetic. Did you notice that? So we're back, I think. And here is the plasma drones. I need plasma drones on my mission here. So I think we're gonna blow this guy up. And I didn't engage anybody else. This is actually the only... This guy's like inside the building. But yeah, I found like the mother load of crystals here. And as you see, we have 138. So, whoops. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> and yeah, we have 138. And so I'm gonna grab a couple more since I'm right over here. And then I think we are going to get out of here because that was what I wanted to do for my mission. There's actually rocket drones on this. Did I see rocket drones? I don't remember if I saw rocket drones. But um, yeah, I just wanted to grab a few more here. And so yeah, look at all the field of them over here on Ninguez. So yeah, this is a good spot to get them. And yeah, grab a couple more while I'm here. This, this I don't mind. This is much better than the moon. I don't mind running around to grab them when they're when you can grab this many at a time. It's just when, you know, you can get like <laughs> one and then you have to fly around for another 20 minutes to find the next one. It gets really it gets obnoxious. But anyway, I think that's enough. I think we've got like close to 150. So yeah, we should yep, we have 150. So we should be able to warp. Let me see if that's a rocket drone before I take off. Let's see what kind of drone that is. Come on. Come on. Because if I can get a rocket drone, why is he not appearing? The base is there, but not the rocket drone? Really? Who's shooting at me now? Somebody's shooting at me. Keep uh, keep dodging. Keep dodging. Okay. I, I'm just curious. There's so many drones around here. If there's a rocket drone and I can get that, those are large. So they're going to be large minigun and large plasma because I don't think there is even a large rocket drone. But anyway, oh yeah, there's the missile silo right there too. But yeah, oh well, I guess I will <laughs> I will get those elsewhere. So let's head back up into, yeah, I need food soon here anyway. Let's head back up to our ship, to our capital vessel. And we can get those things refining while I'm eating my food. And I have to find my capital vessel first, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fly halfway around the planet. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. It's showing a straight line to it. Let's see. It looks like it's that's it right there. There was a little dot through the fog. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we're pretty close. So yeah, we're going to fly back here, and I'll meet you there in a second. Ah, home sweet home, right? <laughs> Our beautiful home. <laughs> it looks even more glorious against that gorgeous background, doesn't it? <laughs> all right so let's do this and my jetpack is back off again yeah there used to be a bug that there we go there used to be a bug that when you got um out of when you went from space to a planet your jetpack would be on and if you left it on you could actually just keep flying forever and ever You're, you basically had like infinite jetpack and so it was kind of a, an exploit, and so people complained about it, and they fixed it eventually. Let's see. Let's get these in the constructor, and let's get our pentaxid going. So let's do that, and then we can get warping here. So let's check our map, 
and see where we're going to go. We're going to go to Akua, and that's 15 from us. And I think, yeah, I think this connects around that way too, and then it kind of curves. There's like a secondary out, outer layer or something like that. I know there's secondary up here. I don't know if there is on this end, but that's how it used to look. So let's see what we have here. We have 20, so that's fine. We can fill. Okay, we have 29, so we should have more by the time we get to this jump. Here we go. And let's do our external camera just to make sure our <laughs> just to make sure our stuff is locked on there. <laughs> right? Get stuff to come undocked. Okay, so there's Akua. And I know that I'm going past all these planets. I don't want to visit them yet. I am going to visit them. There's skill on, there's a trading outpost. Okay. So we're gonna go to skill on. We're gonna we need 14.7 we need 15 more and yeah so that's not going to get us there let me double check it used to be the number rounded up plus one let's see yep you need 15 to warp yep so it is it's whatever number and it's rounded up so let's see if our yep we got plenty here so we can do this and wow did it just give us 62 nice okay cool so we should be able to do a couple more, uh, couple more jumps. But yeah, I don't want to go visit all these planets until we're ready to. And like I said, I want to have like a nice ship built and stuff. And so if we, ooh, there's a space drone. Let's do this. Let's get our. Do I stopped? Yes. I want to get this ship. And come on, there we go. And we're gonna get this reloaded. I want to get a space drone because this is going to be my chance to do this. But the thing is, if I load up these planets, if I land on those planets, I load them up, and then what happens is they're fixed as far as... Hold on, there we go. As far as the the updates, like when they update and if they make new planets, then the ones I'm going to are the old ones. And so I don't want that to happen. There we go. Because the flux coils are useful. All right. But yeah, I don't want that to happen, so I want to actually leave the planets until I'm ready to go to them, so that when I do get to them, they're like the freshest, most recent build of them, in case they happen to do cool new updates before I get there. And I am probably going to end up having to play through Alpha 8 on this, unless Alpha 8 takes a really, really long time to come out, because I plan on this series running for hopefully a month or two, at least. I want to do 60, 70 episodes um, on this series. And so, yeah, it would be nice to be able to to visit. Maybe if they do Alpha 8 and they happen to do the cool uh, spherical planet update or something like that. Okay, there's Oscitoon and there's Iatus. So there we go. There's our goal. And we're going to go there. And let's see what we can do about... Let me see. I'm going to need... I think I'm going to need guided missiles. I don't know if I can... Let me check. Let me check on the SV weaponry here. Homing missiles take Zascosium. So, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I won't be doing those. These take steel plate. And let me see what the ammo does. So those are 135, whatever. Those take cobalt alloy. And these take... Yeah, I think I'm just going to need lots and lots of these. And I don't think I'm going to have much for the homing missiles. Let me see. Did we get much cobalt? We've got 250 cobalt. So that's 500 ingots. So how much? Five. So it's one per. Yeah, we could make like 500 missiles and use up all of our cobalt. So maybe, let me see, what does cobalt alloy have in it? Because they changed all of these things. So I don't know what all the formulas are. It's three cobalt. Wow, so that's three per missile. So we can only make 100 something missiles if we actually made that, I think. 130, so I don't think that's gonna be enough to yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough to take out a bunch of turrets on a patrol vessel, because that's what we need to do. We need to take out a patrol vessel. We need to get it, at least the turrets taken off of it. 
Cool, this is the rings too. But yeah, we need to get the turrets taken off of it. And let's do this. Turn off our auto brake so we can coast. And so that's going to be the plan for the rest of this episode. And yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go land. And well, we're not going to land the CV. We're going to take the SV down. I'm going to put a ton of ammo into it. All Basically almost all of my ammo into it. We're going to go down and we're going to see if we can use it to take out the thingy. And so the other thing I need to do here is put on thruster blocks. So yeah, I'm going to put on a couple extra thruster blocks. So I need one, I need, let's see, we'll get the SV here and devices and two, three, four, we'll do that. So that should suffice as far as getting us the number of things that we need, the number of thrusters that we need. So we're going to turn this way. I think we're going to go basically over, let's see, is that sunset? That's going to be the west. Yeah, so that's basically going to be sunset. We're going to turn off our otter thing. So we're going to be 1100 out over basically the terminator, the western terminator of the planet, just so that we remember where we parked. <laughs> right. So it just gives you a better idea if you're taking off for your CV and, and it's morning, then, you know, do you know which way you're looking for to go toward your CV. But let's get these. And we're going to put these on the ship. And the other thing I need to do is I need to make a bunch of ammo. And let's get that, whoops. Let's get that going. 10, 20, 30. We're going to make a bunch of those. We have a ton of steel plates, so that's fine. I do have those in here, right? Yeah. So the one thing I do need to watch is my Prometheum. I don't know where our Prometheum source is going to be. I'm going to have to look when we get there. Actually, I can, I think I can look on the map now. Let's see. Hiatus. Prometheum. Okay, so there is... All right, yeah, see, this is a nice thing, is we are going to have a lot of the more advanced ores. So let's get this. We'll get out here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put extra thrusters on the ship like this and we're going to take off the cargo box let's see make sure it's empty we're going to take off that cargo box because what we want to do is we want to be able to dodge it's just it's everything it's going to be it's going to be everything just dodge 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 strafe to the side a lot so we're going to do this there we go and so our ship should have a whole lot of side 39 meters per second yeah that's more like it and we're gonna get some ammo here so let's see what is in our our hovercraft here let's see what we have for ammo here we only have 500 we actually have some homing missiles I should put you know what I should do that I think I am gonna do that I am gonna put a homing missile launcher on this SV just because we can. And so we're gonna craft one of those. Let's see, SV, homing launcher. Okay, and should I put one or two? What is our reload? Magazine capacity, 15. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna do one. I think I'm just gonna do one. And then we're going to use that, hopefully to get a bunch of these things off of here. And let's see, what do we have here? Manage. Okay, so that is basically all of our, I need to make a couple thousand more bullets then, because I'm sure I'm gonna need some more bullets too. So let's make 50 more of those and 30 more of those. Okay, so we're gonna put this on while those are crafting and see if we can get this going. Put this right on the front, like this. There we go. All right. And so, yeah, I'm going to let these craft, and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, we are back, and I crafted some more of these, and I also crafted some bullets, and I want to make, I want to put two more Gatling guns on the front of the ship, just because I want to be able to, if I'm going to sit there shooting at 
those things. I want to do as much damage per second as I can instead of like chipping away slowly at them. So yeah, we're gonna put on the Gatling guns here and hopefully we should be able to, because I don't know what kind of patrol vessel this thing is. I don't know if it's just got a couple of the little sentry guns, but I assume on this planet, it's gonna be a tough one. It is not gonna just be some wimpy little thing like it was on Aedas. So yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna have the big turrets that have lots of hit points and stuff. So we're gonna put these, does that not fit there? There we go, we're gonna put that there and there. And we even have color. So let's color these as long as we're doing this, right? As long as I'm doing all this stuff, I might as well keep the ship colored. And there we go. And so now we can head down to the planet and yeah, and I think we are good. So let's do this thing. And I have fuel. I, you know what? There's one other thing I wanted to do before I forget. Let's do this. Advanced constructor. I want to get a bunch of... Do I have cement? I have cement. What does it take to make armored concrete? I want to make some armored concrete blocks. So those take cement and steel plates. Yeah, we have a ton of... No, we don't. We don't have a ton of steel plates in there right now, but we have a ton of steel plates and we have a ton of cement. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to queue up like a thousand O's at least. And so let me get also the plates. Here we go. Here's steel plates. going to get a couple of those and we're also going to queue up the cement. So where did I put that? I think I put that in one of these boxes with all the extra stuff yeah there we go and so we can put that in here before it gets to running out and using up all my iron there we go okay so yeah it can craft all of that stuff it can craft the cement and the steel and use the steel plates because it's going to do two right it's going to do two per yep cool three cement two steel plates okay so yep we are good to go and we should be able to jump in our ship here and make our first trip to Aedas. And I want to see if I can find the patrol vessel and take it out. And if I can't, then I guess we will have to wait till next episode. But I will probably just zoom around and not bore you guys with flying around again. And, and catch up with you when I find it. But let's see what we got here too. And if I find a rocket drone. Because that actually looks like the rocket drone will complete my mission too. Which is really cool. And let me see here. What do we have? There's the trading station. Okay, so let's head around and let's see. We're going to go... Are we... Ooh, there's the... Hey, you know what? There's the base right there. And there's the drone base. Okay, this thing's got to be nearby. Yep, there it is. It just spawned in. Cool. And so we're going to take... Probably should have even put more of the homing missiles on here. But let's fill all. There we go. That is a big ship and I'm going to draw him over this way so he's away from the oxygen depot because if I sit next to that thing that oxygen depot is going to shoot at me isn't it right so man that is a huge ship isn't it all right we're going to do this we're going to level off for a second and we're going to do this okay so we can see better and let's get these loaded too and that looks like a turret right there on the top already. So what is our range? 364 on this, 364 on that. Whoa, he is already shooting at me. There's two of them, I see the two turrets now, okay. So there are two turrets. We're gonna have to, why am I not, why am I not, whoa. <laughs> is the gravity that strong or what? I think the gravity is so strong that I start going down and I can't go back up again. I have like no lift. <laughs> Oh, that is terrible. That is really terrible. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this to to lift, apparently, or I'm going to have to just put another thing on the bottom. Okay, so we need to get within 364 of this guy and then fire this thing. There we go. And... And... Come on. And... And come on. There we go. We got that one. Let's see if you can take him out. That dude is flying sideways. Isn't he? Is it just me or is he flying sideways? That's kind of cool. That's one heck of a pilot on that ship, isn't it? Whoa! 
And I'm so used to those things are deadly. They used to be anyway, and they aren't anymore. And I need to... Okay, there's more... There's more. There's the little ones. I just need to make sure I'm not getting backed into a POI here somewhere. Okay. Just make sure I'm not getting back into a POI. Okay, so let's get this guy. There we go. Two. Three. Four hits. Five hits. That's pretty cool. He's backed into a hill now. Cool. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. There we go. Okay, we got him. We're going to reload this, and we're going to see where those other things are. Let's see. I need to, I need to be careful about going downward. Okay, so I can't see them. Are those turrets right there, or are those blocks? I can't tell where they are, but I know there was those little things were shooting at me somewhere from somewhere. I'm really tempted to shoot out the, the thrusters on this thing, but let's see if we can get him to... Yeah, there they are. Okay, I see them now. They're right against the stripes there. There we go. There's those two. Are there any more? Are there any more? I just want to make sure there's not... Oh, yeah, there's a big turret on the bottom there. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. There we go. We're going to do this. He's not shooting at me yet. I don't know why he's not shooting at me. I don't think he can see through the deco. Let's see. Let's see. If that's hitting him. Yeah, that's hitting him. Come on. This is a little too easy, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely better than trying to build a base with this thing looming around, lurking around and, and stuff. So, come on. I think I am hitting that thing instead of him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> Level off. There we go. All right. <laughs> Bouncing off the terrain. Okay, I do need to take that one off the bottom or take all of his thrusters out maybe. Let's see. Let's see if we can take his thrusters out. What happens if we take his thrusters out? Can we take any of his thrusters out? We're doing damage here. It's showing damage anyway. There we go. Come on. Wow, he's like trying to ram me. It's hilarious. Come on. Let's see if this will do it. No, 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 no. Whoa. Get out of here. <laughs> he's getting way too close for comfort. Okay, let's see if we can hit this. Whoops. No. Hit the thrusters. I'm trying to get a chain reaction on those thrusters, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's... Wow, that is a lot of down thrusters, isn't it? A lot of downward thrusters. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any particular set I can shoot out and cripple him or what. Let's see if we can get these. See if these ones on the top. I'm I'm holding the space bar down and I'm like not climbing. It's hilarious. Come on. Let's see. If we take out all of the come on. No 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 no. There we go. If we take out all of these, I wonder if he will stop being able to fly correctly or what. If it will, if it will consider him crippled or what? So let's try it and find out. That's how you find out, right? Come on, come on. This is why I put four of these on here because I want to do damage in a hurry. Come on, a little more. There's one more. Come on. Then we can get these guys right here. They should be easier because they're closer. Better angle on them. You'd think he'd run away if he's getting blown up like this, right? Come on. There we go. Come on, one more. Last one. Come on. Last one. Come on. Ah, come on. <laughs> it's jerking around. There we go. Okay, did, he, did it do anything to him? 
I don't think it did anything. I don't think it affected him. Okay. All right, well, let's... Whoa, stop doing that. Stop doing that. There we go. Okay, we're going to come down a little bit, and we're going to see if we can... We're going to see if we can take out this bottom turret, and then we should be good, because I think that's going to be all those turrets, and that should be enough to... Uh, yeah. It should be enough to, to keep him occupied, or to keep him from uh, attacking us and stuff. Come on. I don't know if that one is just not working correctly or what. Come on. It is hitting him. Oh, did it just take him out? I think it just did. Let's fly underneath him and see what happens. Okay, there's more. There's more, but they're just the little turrets. Let's see where they are. See what they are. Let's see what they are. Come on. One more. More little swing past. There they are. Okay, I see him. No, not that. I want this. There we go. And that. I want that guy. Okay. And is there more on the front? I don't see more on the front. Let's go around, and we'll get the ones on the other side that are in that same position. These guys. That one and that one. Come on. There we go. Okay. I think he is crippled as far as... I don't think he can do damage anymore. So I think we are good. Awesome. So yeah, that is the M hard 2. Cool. So he had three, four, four turrets. But anyway, I think that is going to be it for episode 21. Join me in episode 22. And we will find a place. I think we're going to try to find a place to live. That did come up. No, it didn't. We're going to try to find a place to live. And I'm going to wander around and see if anything looks like a suitable place to build and stuff. So yeah, join me in episode 21 for some exploring and maybe starting up a base. And we will see you then. Later. And we flew to Aiutis on the worst ship ever. And we went to Skillon on the worst ship ever.